You can do what they want. Boys do what they can. Salute Kings. A man without purpose should never, ever be focused on vagina. If you are a man who lacks purpose, a man who lacks ambition, a man who sees to have a mission in life, why are you anxious to be rewarded with pleasure? Why are you anxious to be rewarded with dopamine? You don't deserve it. And that's just the honest truth when you really think about it. What rewards you or grants you, in a sense, with pleasure? It makes no sense. You don't even know what you want to do in life. You don't even know why you are here, what's your purpose in life, how you can make the world a better place, how you can benefit society, but you feel that you are owed or orgasm. You feel that you are owed sexual pleasure. And not only that, it's a distraction. And this is where a lot of kings go wrong is they want to be rewarded for something that they did not work for. This is why we always say instant gratification is not for men because it makes us weak. When we are instantly rewarded without putting the work in, without busting our ass, we tend to become more entitled and more lazy as men. Let me repeat that. When we are rewarded for instant gratification without putting the work in, we become entitled as men and we become lazy. This is why you have so many men out here watching porn, masturbating, you know, even those who are engaging in sexual activity with women, but they have no purpose, no life goals. They feel as if the world owes them something. These typically are the men who are most complainant and who are most emotional and feminine is because they feel that they are do this, they are owed this because they haven't had a rite of passage. We all need a rite of passage. And when we find our purpose, it's in a sense a rite of passage because when we are on our purpose and when we know our purpose and when we find our purpose and then we head out on that journey of life to achieve that purpose right before we die that is in a sense our rite of passage you know back in the day it was more you know literal when you had a rite of passage but now you still can have a rite of passage by finding your purpose because just because you find your purpose and know your purpose don't mean you are fulfilling your purpose and you have fulfilled your purpose right and you only have a certain amount of time to do it as we all do because we all aspire one day so once you find your purpose and identify your life purpose now you have to bring it into fruition. Now you have to really learn how to execute that purpose, to fulfill it, right? And that is a rite of passage in a sense because it's going to be trials and tribulations. It's going to be ups and downs. Like this channel right here, Alpha Sincere, you know, my Instagram, Alpha Sincere. Two years I've been working at this thing. It's over two years and, you know, I don't plan on giving up. You know, I've been through days where I've been discouraged. I'm going to be honest, you know, I've been through days where I've been unmotivated, but I still fight. I still create content. I still continue to grind because I wholeheartedly know this is my purpose. I just believe, but know this is my purpose. So I commit to it and I face the challenges and adversities of ups and downs and everything because that's my rite of passage. That way, when I reach which I will, like I always tell y'all, the law of attraction, manifestation, speak it into existence. I will reach my goal of inspiring millions of men, right? Then I know that I deserve it. I can feel deserving of it because it wasn't instant gratification. Anybody who's been following me since the beginning, hell, if you're new to the channel, you know how hard I work on this channel. You know, I did a video every day for one year. You know, my Instagram, I was doing three videos, sometimes four and five videos every day for a whole year. I'm just committed to it, man. And that's delayed gratification. You know, it's me not reaping the rewards right away and steady grinding and putting in the work and grinding, not focus on women, not focus on vagina, trying to, you know, set an example for you kings and lead by example for you kings. Not just be one of these guys out here talking to talk, but then I'm secretly chasing out the women and I'm secretly putting my business, my Alpha Sincere brand second, you know, my men empowerment business second. No, y'all see this come first before anything else I do. I just started back fitness. So, you know, fitness and this is going to be right neck and neck. But ultimately, kings, like I love this. Like it's something I truly Thank God for every day that I found, that I discovered that he put inside me, that he instilled inside me to be able to bless and inspire other kings. And also, you know, I want you to do the same. I want you to embrace and find that same feeling by finding your purpose. And you can't do that when you're chasing behind women. You can't do that when you put vagina in first place and everything else comes below it, which a lot of you kings do. You know, you do everything you do just for the end goal of vagina, just for the end goal of female validation. And I'm not telling you to be 
anti-women because I tell y'all all the time, I love women. I will always love women, right? We pro-women over here. We just not for the bull, you know, the bull crap and we expose female nature. That's how, so we can move accordingly. But we're not bitter towards women. We're not angry at women. We're not anti-woman over here. We're just simply purpose first. Purpose over all because purpose is God. Purpose is God given and purpose is the reason we were put on this earth. So if we're not living the reason we're put on this earth, then we're doing not only ourselves a disservice, but we're doing the world a disservice because we're not even fulfilling our prophecy. And I know that's powerful for some of y'all, but it's true. So never focus on how to get a girlfriend and how to get women to like you and how to get more girls and how to get your ex back. And all these things kings constantly ask me on a daily basis. If you don't even know what your purpose is, if you're not aware of your purpose, I don't want to hear how to get a girl. I don't want to hear how to sleep with more women. I don't want to hear none of these things from you. You, you, you watching this. If you are not on your purpose, if you don't know what your purpose is, if you're not in the journey of finding your purpose, or if you found your purpose, if you're not in the journey of fulfilling that purpose, the last thing on your mind should be females. The last thing on your mind should be vagina because honestly, you're not deserving of it. You're not. And that's just the honest truth. And it's not because she's this big, great, powerful thing or she should be put on a pedestal. It's just merely the fact that you don't deserve gratification and especially instant gratification. What have you done to deserve instant gratification? You know, what have you done to deserve that hit of dopamine? You're not even on your purpose. You're, you don't even know what your purpose is. So why do you feel deserving of that? It's not even from the perspective of females when they say, you know, broke boys don't deserve no sex and all, not even from that perspective. It's from the perspective of being masculine and being a man and being a leader to say, why do you feel like you, let me give you an example. Imagine if you were in a cabin with a group of men and a group of women and all these other men, they went out to hunt, right? They went out to get the food and bring it back. You stayed there. You didn't do nothing special. You didn't stay there to protect the women, nothing. You just chose not to go out and hunt. And when they get back, you get to eat with everybody else. You get to eat with the men who had to go out there and put in the work to hunt the food and with the women, you know, who cooked the food and you contribute nothing. This is how it is when you're constantly seeking sex, vagina, you know, female validation, and you're contributing nothing to society. Why do you deserve that? Why do you deserve that nut? Why do you deserve that orgasm? Why do you deserve that sexual pleasure? What have you done? What have not only for the world, but what have you done for yourself as a man? Most of these guys' lives are in shambles, you know, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and sometimes even physically. But the first thing on their mind is, how can I get more vagina? How can I get more women? How can I get more sex? It's backwards. You are working backwards, King. And the reason why I say working backwards is because a man who is on his purpose is going to always have access to women. Let me repeat that. A man who's truly on his purpose will always always have access to women. This is why you see guys who build their brands and build themselves up and, you know, invest in their mental, spiritual, physical, financial. You see they always win in the end. And women is attracted to that. Women are attracted to a man with purpose. Women are attracted to a bitch's men. So you're always going to get the woman when you're on your purpose. Now, your purpose is not always going to be here when you're chasing women because, like I said, we all have an expiration date. So if you spend 30 years chasing women and by the time you want to be on your purpose to find your purpose it's too late because it is a such thing it's too late to be on your purpose whether people want to you know admit it or not because when you're truly on your purpose your purpose could take years to fulfill hell if it's true or true purpose it take a lifetime so the sooner you start king the better don't wait don't continue to put all your focus and energy on towards how to get more women the women will come i promise you there's nothing wrong with wanting to engage with women and sex i know we're men we kings it's nothing wrong with that i'll never make you feel bad about that only way i'll make you feel bad is if you are focused on women and vagina before purpose in your mission. If you enjoyed this video, King, don't forget to smash that like button. Only if you want to, no pressure. Also, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the Alpha Nation. Don't forget to subscribe. Till next time, Alpha Sincere. Salute. If you enjoyed this video, show Alpha Sincere some love and hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure to follow on Instagram.